Hello and welcome to Evil Genius 2 World Domination, a game which is unsurprisingly focused on dominating the world as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now I know what you're thinking, world domination, that ain't no joke now is it? It's a big old task to accomplish. And that is where my good old friend Red Ivan comes into play, a deranged former evil henchman with an Iron Man looking fist and a deep seated passion for destruction and violence at any cost. In summary, the world has created a war crazed madman and now he's coming back to haunt them. Well. He isn't really, I mean, we're controlling his every thought, maneuver, and action, so really, we're the war-crazed madman. Oh, and he also has a rocket launcher that fires devastatingly powerful explosive shots. That's right, for whatever reason, we trusted this guy with a rocket launcher, 24-7. And now, all we need is a nice scenic island for little Ivan. And considering this one is on fire, I feel like this beautiful paradise will be our perfect area for operations. It even comes with a central helipad. How cool is that? Alongside the remains of creatures from worlds gone past. Oh my word, let's start right here. Yes, that's right, we're here. Here is our island with our helipad and all. Aren't you just so excited to get going? It is time to dominate the world. Now naturally the first thing we need to get this show on the road is an absolutely massive throne. A throne in a room that screams I am in charge and I will win. And there you have it. A matching outfit, a matching room with a matching massive desk. But it's not all about the desk. I mean it's cool and all and this table here I mean it's absolutely amazing. But we have a fair amount of empty space around here. And while we may be in sandbox mode we have a lot to do. We can't dominate the world alone. And that's where these minions come into play. And yes, they're yellow. I'm sure it's probably a Despicable Me reference, as bad as it is. And while they're more than happy enough right now, we aren't gonna have a problem. The problem that we have, though, is that she doesn't have anywhere to eat, she doesn't have anywhere to sleep, and most importantly, she has absolutely nowhere to be brainwashed. If they're gonna stick around, we need to give them some place to stay. And of course, we could build it nicely and properly like any normal person who plays a game in the lair. I mean, it looks nice, it's all in one space, and it's well away from the prying eyes of the public. But I mean, that's boring, that's normal, that's conventional. Why would we play the game like that? I've done that once and I'm not gonna do it again. Now you may be wondering, why do we have tourists? We are an evil genius who's plotting to take over the world after all. Well, you see, all of this traffic, all of these people, all of this expensive stuff coming into a tiny island that is in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, it's gonna look a bit suspicious, is it not? So that's why we have our tourists. We are going to be a tourist company who have a casino, which does casino things and totally isn't a front for our evil business. If you can't see me right now, I'm doing air quotes like any cool person would. Sadly, our casino is filled with a lot of broken old crap. Thankfully, though, we can sell all of this. And just like that, it's gone. Now, we've got a couple rooms in here. We've got the barracks. Barracks are where the minions sleep. That's where their lockers are. That's where they keep all their stuff. It's how they get their rest. I mean, we've got the mess hall as well. The mess hall is where they eat their food and all. And that's all, you know, hunky-dory. They get their meal. They're good to go. Now, the ones that are more interesting would be rooms such as the archive. Now, how does the archive work? Well, sadly, it's not a big cool computer that stores all your old files. However cool that does sound. No, the archive is home to such amazing items such as the re-education chair. So what happens when we place the re-education chair? Well, not much. These guys have to come and make it, of course. And once they've done that, we have ourselves a presentation room. Yes, as you walk into the casino, into our front business, all you will see is our minions being controlled, essentially brainwashed, mind-controlled, all of the above, essentially. And you ought to be even better. Yes, I did make a viewing station. That's exactly what this is. It's perfectly allows you to sit down and view whatever the heck is happening to these poor guys. Sadly, they're 100% brainwashed, so we can't really do brainwashing as a presentation. I'll make sure to unbrainwash some people later, Phil. I'm sure it'll be a great show. But besides this horror show of an evil lair, we do need something else. We need to actually make some progress towards world domination. And that's where a laboratory comes in. Yes, the laboratory is so science minions can't perform research, and that research will be towards our global operations, towards creating the Doomsday Weapon. Now, what is the Doomsday Weapon? Well, the Doomsday Weapon is what goes in that big black hole. It will fire something way up into the air all across the world. I don't know what, because I've never played through the game this way before, but I'm sure we're about to find out. For me, maybe in like 30 hours, for you, like five minutes. Now, while the re-education display cases are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they do still need places to eat, drink, sleep, and hang out. And why not follow the same boat that we've got here? Why don't we just open up their private lives for all to see? It's a bit like Facebook and Instagram. I mean, we have the perfect space for it right here. And it would be the perfect thing for our tourists to see. I'm sure it's a very unique thing to have. I'm actually beginning to realize there's some dark kind of undertones here. They were not intentional. Yeah, I, I can see how this doesn't quite look the best. But hey, it does look weird. Okay, yeah, I admit this does have a few weird, subtle issues, but it looks cool, and it 
does technically function. Thus, there's no problem as long as I don't acknowledge a problem. I mean, how can there be a problem if you don't acknowledge it? I mean, now all you need to do is actually build a casino around this stuff. And there you have it. Perfect casino. You've got the casino things that do casino. I don't know how casinos work. I've never been to one. You've got your bed. You've got your eating area. You've got your TV. You've got your fountain made out of gold. And I know we've run out of power. That's fine. Everything's totally going to plan. Now, you see what I've done is I've essentially built a nuclear reactor under the base. This thing doesn't look dangerous at all. The only problem is if it goes up in flames and we have a slight problem. And that, that's actually possible. I think it's quite easy for power stations to go up in flames in the game. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Nothing will happen. The nine beds that we have here aren't really enough of the 222 minions we have in the lair. So we're going to have to expand our tourist display case. And I mean, uh, the bedrooms, bedrooms, bedrooms. Yes, we're expanding the bedrooms. And just like that, the bed problem is gone. Well, I mean, technically we made it bigger, but it's not really a problem now, is it? We even added some new exhibits. Look at that. I don't know what the hell's going on that screen, but it looks fancy and important, doesn't it? It does look a little dangerous. I, I do wonder what they do to them there. Like, your head goes in that little hole there between two cold, hard metal circles. Are they electrocuting your brain? No. I hope not. Let's not dwell on the fact, eh? Let's just admire the beautiful scenery, however weird it looks. Well, now that we've got ourselves, you know, the entire casino thing set up here, I would say it's time to venture out into the world that we want to dominate. And, and it's quite simple, really. We just start scouting areas. Once we scout a country or a continent, that's us established a base there, and that means that we're one step closer to taking the entire world over. One base of operations at a time. I feel like the game maybe wasn't quite designed for you to take over every single continent at once because we've got a slight backlog here. Ever so slight. And just like that, we have established our dominance all across the world. Okay, we haven't quite taken it over, but we have got a base in every country and continent. That's one step of the way, isn't it? Now, if you want a quick roundup, each continent on the map is controlled by a different evil enemy. Down here, we have have Smash in the lovely yellow color, might I say. Up here we have Patriot, being, you know, USA and all that. In Europe we've got the Hammer District. In the African areas we have Saber. And then over here in places like India we have Anvil. Now all we have to do is perform some heights in all these locations around the world and we kind of just scare them into submission. Easy! Simple. What could go wrong? There's a problem, though. We've opened ourselves up to the world, and the world is going to come to us. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you get secret agents. We, we don't actually have our own secret agents. We're probably going to need some secret agents, actually. All of those districts we just discussed, well, they want to find out what the heck we're up to. Why the heck did we pop out of nowhere and just start taking over everything left, right, and center? They're a bit annoyed, and they kind of have every right to be. They'll start stealing our ideas, our intel. It's going to be a mess. And that, of course, is what this area is for, the casino. It's meant to hide what we're doing. We've made a slight oversight. We've made it plainly obvious what we're doing in the in the casino. It's a slight problem. So we're gonna hide our super secret dealings behind something a bit more clever. So we're gonna have to research some traps. Like poison darts. They sound cool, don't they? And hey, speak of a devil. Here's one right here. A saber investigator. Zola Stewan. She's a gullible fool, but she's still here. We could distract her. We could capture her. Or we could terminate her. There you go. There's an intruder here. Now, horrifying deathly murder does sound way more fun than letting them play a few games in the casino. Oh no. What happened? No one knows. Anyway. Oh look, it's it's another one surrounded by my minions. Whatever could possibly go wrong? Oh my word, they're surrounding her. Christ. Oh, and she's gone already. That's not good. Hey ho. They all want a cup of coffee now. You're a bit lazy, aren't you? You punch one person, you want a cup of coffee. What the nerf is wrong with you all? Oh, they have low morale. Oh. Probably from being watched all the time, you'd imagine. Sorry. I would say I didn't mean it, but I, I kind of did. Their coffee thing is kind of becoming a problem. They're deserting me. They're running away from us. They're running away from the mission. Why are the escaping ones killing the ones that are escaping? It's like they're pretending they're not deserting me and running away. Oh my, can they kill each other and then they'll all desert? Oh my word, all the deserters are killing each other. So you see that logo means they're running away. Now, of course, they're not allowed to leave. It's a secluded island. Why on earth do you think we built it here? It was obviously to keep them in, not to keep people out. But no problem keeping them out either, especially when they kill everyone who tries to leave. But of course, they have to pretend that they're not leaving. So when you tell them to kill someone, they still have to do their job. They still have to kill each other. So every time they come and desert, they're just going to kill each other. I mean, there will be one winner, I guess. Yes, and that'll be you. Congratulations, Bea Chipolda. But do you really deserve to leave? Okay, it would appear they're all deserting us, not just one, as they descend into the black hole that is the cruise ship. Bye, guys. I'm still waiting for my guy to come and kill you. He's taking a while. I swear, once he gets here, there we go. It's time for the rocket launcher. Come on. There we go. Explosions. That's what we came here for. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Is he going to get blown up? Yes. Look at that. Perfect. I mean, that doesn't look scary at all, does it? Oh, the poor dude. He's running straight into a rocket. Oh, I do not feel sorry for him. 
I mean, I do feel sorry for him. Yes, it's so sad. So sad. Perfection! I don't know what else I could ask for. Explosions and minions who run away and ask for it. Okay, paired with the casino thing. It, I, I know it sounds bad. And psychopathic. This does not look good, does it? So floor two is turned red. Oh, I see why it's turned red. It's gone up in flames. We've gone from people running away to the entire layer on fire. What's happening? What have I done? It was all going so well. The display cases were a hit. The people were mostly happy. Now they're setting fire to their own workplace. How could this be happening? What's got them so disgruntled? Oh, I see what it is. It's a saboteur. Oh, yeah. You know how I was talking about how we have no security, right? It turned into a slight problem. They're now blowing everything we own up. How do you put out a fire? Uh, asking for a friend. I, I, we don't have any. I don't think we have anything that puts out fires. Oh, yeah. Here it is. A fire extinguisher. It's in the hallway thing. A shame we didn't build hallways, huh? Maybe we could have a fire extinguisher. Ah, but it's too late to build a fire extinguisher now, isn't it? I would say it maybe is, yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. Leave it there. Everything's fine. Nothing's going to go wrong. We didn't lose 100 minions. Not at all. Oh, wow. We had 300 minions. Oh, that's a problem. We, lo we lost half of them. I mean, yeah, some of them ran away, but I think we burnt most of them to death. Then again, I think most of them may be lying in body bags on the way from the casino to the cruise boat. I, I can see how that may be where they're all going. And then, of course, we blow all of them up. I don't think it's going well for us, really. The whole world domination thing is really falling to pieces. I think it's time for the High red alert button. Ah, yes, everything turns red and we all panic. Probably because everything's on fire. To be honest, it was all already red. Yeah, so the fire's still going. Um, I'm really, I'm really not sure. You know, I thought the fire would die out, but then I realized it's sandbox mode, so stuff can't take damage, so it's going to endlessly burn. And I don't think that's the worst thing. We can always just wall this disaster off and leave it there. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. I mean, these machines all work, so I'm sure it's fine. I do think it's safe to say that we have some problems with the whole security of our evil lair. I mean, they have set the place on fire multiple times. It seems like a slight issue. And you know, that's why we have Guards, mercenaries, martial artists, and hitmen. The only problem is we don't actually have them. We have to train them. So you take this little normal generic minion and you train them up to be a cool, experienced guard. And that is exactly what we're going to do with the guard trainer. And there we have it. We've got ourselves some guards. They're doing guard things. They'll help protect us against the bad people. Now look, this one's going to stand on one foot and kick. It's even better. And he's got a beret. Ain't that just... Great. Maybe you can tell I don't know what I'm talking about. I think it is right to say we have a slight problem with people breaking in. I mean, here's one right here, for example. They just keep breaking in, stealing our stuff, killing stuff, and blowing it all up. That's because we don't have any protection. So that, thankfully, the game has traps. An elaborate selection of traps. You've got killer bees. You've got a disco floor. You have a shark tank. I mean, what is there not to love? And I mean, you can even be attracted to some of them. Get it? Magnet. Attracted. Magnetic connection, right? No? Okay, sorry. And that's when I got an idea. Why don't we move the entrance from this side of our lair over to this side? And we've got lots of space. And the good thing about having lots of space is we can convert it all into a massive hallway. Well, that doesn't really help us, does it? I mean, you know, you've got a big massive floor. It's like a dance floor. That's not really useful. I mean, unless you're using the laser disco, of course. But laser disco is a bit annoying, to be honest. It's a massive hole in the floor, actually. That's right. You've read my mind. We can make a maze. Okay, that's really you probably didn't read my mind. But still, it's a maze. And not only is it Confusing and complex. It has a flamethrower. Haven't you always wanted this? And plus, I mean, killer bees. Come on. How could you not put killer bees in the game and expect me not to use it? They're bees and they kill and they're in a wall. It's almost as good as a puppy of death. I'm actually kind of curious. What is a puppy of death? Does a puppy kill you? Let's put that at the door. 80 grand for a puppy of death. Thank goodness this is all for free. I want a shark tank. Of course, a shark tank. Now, I've got a plan for the maze, of course. Besides all the traps, you've got to have a good layout. And as you come in, you've got a couple options. You can carry on straight and go through the shark tank tank area, you can go through the middle, you can go right or left, you can go for a kind of maze area, in and out, in and out, in and out. I don't know, if you want left, you can just go around all of that. Kind of boring, actually. I mean, if you want the shark tank route, you'll get a dead end, so that's fun. But I mean, come on, it's a dead end for puppy. I mean, how can you complain? And then at the end, the two of them join up and you get to the door. If you've survived all the traps that I'm about to put in. Why don't we start with fake safe? I mean, that's tempting, isn't it? Is that the end of a door and you're really excited? Hell, a double-sided fake safe. How about that? And the giant fan is great, it pushes your end 
enemies away, it makes them slower. It slows them down, it doesn't kill them though. But it can get very annoying if you start adding it at the end of every single one of these. I mean, that's gonna take a fair while to get through. Besides all the flamethrowers at every single position, of course. And how could we forget the dance floor of death? Or the laser disco, as they call it. I feel like the lasers are probably deadly. And a freeze right before every flamethrower. I mean, that's kind of a given, isn't it? It's just funny. And I mean, if you go the wrong way, you get the laser hallway of death. It's gonna be sore. Do lasers act? Yeah, lasers hurt. They probably do. Poison darts? Oh, me. I feel like I'm getting carried away. Is it, is it too much? I, I feel like I'm slowly murdering some people here at this point. And it's a paywall. Oh, that's a great one. That's like Fortnite. Except this game also has DLC, so it's kind of a bad metaphor, really. It's funny as heck, though. I think that's it, though. It's the perfect maze. It's the only way to get in, and our employees can get through fine, but if you're not an employee, you've got to get through all this. It may actually take the minions a fair while to get through all that, actually. I I'm sure they'll be fine. What's an extra 25 minutes to get to your destination? And perfect timing! We've got our first person! Look at them go! Into the pile of sharks. How did he survive? Oh, he didn't survive. He's dead. He's a goner. Yep, okay, that didn't go well. I mean, it went well for us. That's great. That's terrific. We've always wanted to murder people with sharks, but not saboteuring us anymore. <gasps> it's the puppy! What does the puppy do? Oh, look at the little puppy. He is cute, isn't he? I mean, he's a robot, but he's still look kind of real. Oh, he blows up. Oh, he, oh, that's, that's nasty. Oh, he killed him as well. Really successful, that thing, isn't it? It really goes well. It's worth the 80 grand. Well, I would say it's pretty successful. All three of them are dead and gone. Well, nearly. There's a fourth one over here. Oh, then again, he's he's died as well. Well, successful indeed. You know what moving the entrance does, Phil? It gives us all of this space here to play with. And I mean, after that whole new entrance, we're gonna have a lot of prisoners to keep. We're gonna catch a lot of criminals. Well, technically, we're criminals, so. What do you call them, then? Fugitives? I don't know. They're not meant to be here, that's for sure. But you know what? the great thing is we can put them on display as well. You get your holding cells. And then of course you have the best thing, the interrogation chair. Right out in the open. Look at that, eh? Well, actually it's not built yet. You'll look at it in a minute. Oh my word, I did not know I put that down. Oh, that's eating them. Actually, he survived. No, he's not survived. Again, I keep doing that. I didn't know we had a flower that eats people. Much apology. Well, actually I'm not gonna apologize to you. You did try and rob me. And there you have it. An open prison on display for all the tourists. Definitely not there to scare anyone who's trying to rob us. Also just quicker access, really. But you know what this means? We are completely ready to dominate the world. We've secured ourselves, we've hidden ourselves, we've established ourselves across the world. Now all we need is to actually venture out into the world. And I'm gonna see you next time for that. Hey, do you want to have your very own copy of Evil Genius 2? Well, thanks to the guys over at Rebellion, I have a key to give away. Uh, if you want to have a chance of, you know, getting Evil Genius 2 world domination in your Steam account, then follow the information in the description. Oh, and they also sent me this absolutely awesome magazine, eh? Isn't it cool? Right, you know that? Thanks for watching. Cheerio!